Hello magic people and welcome back to Let's Build the City. It's me here and I'm back. It has been a long time coming but we're back to the city and starting with the church again. So this episode we're going to work on the main building of the church. And to start off with we're going to use this brick as the inner walls to the church. Now I'm, I'm planning to try and hopefully get the series done, or to say the city done quite quick. I'm, I'm planning about five, maybe ten episodes, hopefully. Fingers crossed, anyway. So we're doing, the, doing it inside the wall so we can add cobblestone at the front to bring out features to make it look more churchy. So that's the main doorway to the church that will lead to the altar and so Nick. So we go skip forwards, I've just done the majority of the walls as you can see there. Now it's time to the first part of the wall. Working out where the middle is and adding as the theme of the city the sandstone and wood roofs. Sandstone three and then the wooden block every one. So one three one. So this bit this adds another depth to the building instead of having it just one shape. I've done it two tiered as I probably said last episode. It's just giving it a more dramatic effect. And now I'll in a minute I'll be showing you what I mean by adding the extra detail to the edge of the walls. Toying around with the corner piece. I'm not too happy with how the outcome was so I feel better how it was to start off with. Again, another thing that I wasn't wasn't sure of, I think I'll remove it in the end or sometime during this episode. But I'll put a cross here on the corner. First using no brick stairs, then changing to cobblestone walls. I just didn't like the contrast between the fence panel, fence and the building itself. Now going up there I decided that I wanted to start work on the top panel of the building. Every, I think it was every two I was putting these cobblestone down and making the, colors, the cobblestone pillars. Just adding another layer to the building really, that's what it's doing. Eventually I will put a window probably inside there as well. As you can see here, adding the cobblestone stairs upside down at the bottom just to make it look like it flows. Okay, at least this gives me a area where I know that's going to have the windows there. Skipping forwards now, and 
there's the whole finished building, oh not finished, but the finished part that we've done. Now it's time to come to add a little bit more detail to the front of the building. So what I'm doing here is I'm adding that cross feature again, but I'm not just doing one, I'm doing about five I believe, I think it was five I did in the end. And this I was doing every two again, no every three sorry. Now I might come back to this and change the material I use, but at, at, at the present time I'm quite happy with how it looks. Again, this corner, just toying with some ideas. Again, stick it to what it already is. Sorry about that yawn. Like I said, stick with this. But I did change the material to the mossy cobblestone just to add a bit of contrast between the building itself and the little bit of detail up here and of course in a church so it has been standing here for many years so it has to have a bit of mossy mossy stuff on it I might later on in the series add a bit more mossy copper stone on the building places just to make it look a bit more older I may even change the middle stone wall into like a glowstone block or something just instead of the torches. So again, that will be later on in the series. Coming to the archway now, come to the door I should say. And first of all outlining it with cobblestone. And then using the old stair brick upside down stairs just to make it more arched. Now I actually made the wall go the doorway go inside as well. I might change that later on. I'm not too sure how it ha how it turned out, but I'm happy with it at the moment. Doesn't it? doesn't look too bad to be honest. Now using the archway as a rough line to divide the wall. And again using where the crosses are I've come down to put dividers on the wall to add again add more depth to the building. Again, I use the gaps in between there for windows, which will be massive pane glass windows. Now coming to the bottom of the wall, and I wanted the paneling to be a lot closer as it is at the bottom. I ended up doing it every other one. as you can see. To give it a different shape I add upside down and normal placed stair rick. And it just stands out straight away you can see. So there we go, I've done the back side as well, I'll give a quick view, did that before going on to the main roof. Also added lapis lazuli blocks to the top of the pillars, just to make them look like they're holding something up there. Coming to the main roof of the building, and first of all I'm just going to place down all the copper sandstone stairs, and then to carry on with the normal feature of the city with the wood as well. I'll be using that on the pillows, or what, the pillows, whatever you want to call them. Just 
jumping ahead, as you can see here, adding the spruce wood stairs to the roof to add them to make it look like it actually fits in the city. That is like the theme of the city anyway, as you can see in the distance, all the sandstone and wood stairs. Roofs. I think the only roof that I didn't do that was the market area. Now, I, I couldn't quite decide what to do for the big, big cross at the front of the building. At first I used gold blocks, but I change it to glowstone because the glowstone in here looks amazing. Now comment below which one you prefer. If you prefer the gold, I will change back to the gold, but at, at present time I am sticking with the glowstone. It does give a nice glow as well to the building. So there we go, that has been Let's Build the City. Thanks for watching, thumbs up, like and subscribe, and I'll see you all. Laters, bye bye.